Comic Shorts. Comic Shorts presents Mad About You, I Love You, Daniel Craig, starring Kevin Beetlestone as Francis Donahue, celebrity stalker. Written by Kevin Beetlestone. Dear Daniel, or should I say, Mr. Bond, my name is Francis Donahue, and I am your greatest fan. But I'll be honest, I'm a bit angry with you right now. Last time you were on David Letterman, you mentioned me calling me a stalker. But I don't identify with the label stalker. I'll have you know there's a fine line between stalker and a merely overzealous pursuer. Oh, Daniel, I long to be near you. I used to have the keys to your heart, but you closed the gates. Now I have to break in if I want to see you. <laughs> Oi, what bastard threw that brick through my bloody window? Oh, shit, I got the wrong house. If I find out who threw that, I'll tear your bloody legs off. <laughs> Anyway, where was I? Ah, yes. Can't you tell I've been carrying a torch for you for quite some time? A flamethrower, to be exact. Ah! Just like that time when we met at next door's barbecue. I know you weren't very happy with me, but did you know what you were making all the fuss about? Your hair grew back. Those stick-on eyebrows look uh, quite fetching. And you were only in intensive care for a month. Or was it a year? Is there anybody there? I need to go to the toilet. Will you be quiet? I'm trying to write to Daniel. Oh, bursting. Can't you just do it in your trousers like everyone else? No, I need to go now. I knew I should never have taken Timothy Dalton hostage. Bloody diva. He does two Bond films and he thinks he's bloody Roger Moore. Now, who, where is that duck tape to shut him up? <laughs> Daniel, we are the same, you and me. You with your manly physique, your blue eyes and your natural charisma, and me with my rotund body, my piercing stare and split personality. People have difficulty telling us apart. <laughs> We've had so many great memories over the years, haven't we, Daniel? Uh, I'll never forget the time I came to your house wearing my clown suit and rang your doorbell persistently for three hours non-stop. And you told me... uh, What was it you told me again? Oh, yes, bugger off. That's right. It was then and only then that I realized that you wanted me to move in with you permanently. Daniel, I want to know everything there is to know about you. So I snuck into your beautiful home last week. (laughs) I love the decor, your trophies, your underwear drawer. I made a few changes while I was there, of course. I hope you don't mind. Everything looks so much better now that all your family photos have been replaced with the selfie I took of me and you when we were going through the car wash and I was sitting in the back seat waving that machete. Oh, the look on your face. It was a picture, honestly. But all the good times eventually turn sour, don't they, Daniel? It made me very mad and cross when you returned that gourmet sandwich I sent you. Telling me it smelled like dog shit. I mean, what did you expect a dog shit sandwich to smell like? I'm sorry you don't know anything about the culinary arts. I could give you a lesson tomorrow down the dog park. Bring uh, a a dog, a loaf of bread, and uh, uh, a pooper scooper. Daniel, I see you've moved house again. Don't worry about sending me your new address. I'll find you somehow. I always do.